welcome to chemistry plumbum today we will see important topic in chemistry chemical bonding and molecular structure this is the most important topic for chemistry student see first the attractive forces which holds various constituent like atoms ions molecule compounds etc together in different chemical species is called chemical bond see all elements involving the bond formation in the universe except inert or noble gas element but some inert gas elements also involving the bond formation like xenon like this so next point generally all inert gas element as completely filled electron configuration so they usually they do not bond formation with the other elements this is the main causes next kussel levis approach to chemical bond see the chemical bond example see see the example lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon see the example see lithium see the electron configuration lithium is 1s2 2s1 valence electron is 1 beryllium 1s2 2s valence electron is 2 boron 1s2 2s2 2p1 valence electron is 3 carbon 2s2 2p2 valence electron is 4 see the carbon 1s2 2s2 2p2 valence electron is the 4 next nitrogen 1s2 2s2 2p3 but valence electron is 5 see oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 valence electron is 6 this is the called all a 2s1 2s2 2s2 2p1 2s2 2p2 2s2 2p3 2s2 2p4 this all are called valence electron all are outer most electron these electrons only involving the chemical reaction or bond formation but at the same time this electron does not involving the any chemical bonds for all element see the periodic table for all elements this is called inner core electrons see this all are called inner core electron these electrons does not involve any chemical reaction but see the this is the all are valence electron these all are going to involving the bond formation with the other element this is called the valence electron or outermost electron see this is the very important please keep it in mind next valence electron
the next valence angle. Let them meet one. Say sorry. Berlin is two. Boron is three. Carbon is four. Nitrogen is five. Oxygen is six. Chlorine is seven. N is eight. So, see Lewis dot structure. Lewis is here. He is one of the main scientist for chemistry. See the Lewis dot structure for lithium. See here only one dot, here only two dot. This all dot denoting the valence electron. Please keep it in mind. Lithium has one dot. Berlin is two dot. Boron is three dot. Carbon is. 4 dot nitrogen as 5 dot oxygen sorry nitrogen as 5 dot oxygen as 6 dot fluorine is 7 dot see below example you can see for sodium sodium atomic number is 11 See the electron configuration. Sodium 1 s to 2 s to 2 p 6. 2 p 6 3 s 1 or we can simply write like this n configuration 3 s 1. So, sodium as valence as only 1 3 s 1 at the 3 s orbital one valence C for sodium C sodium Na plus this plus C is denoted it can donating the electron for other element so this plus sign is denoted the it can loss or donating the electron this plus side. So, sodium has only one valence electron. See there. This is the 3s1. This is the valence electron. So, we can write simply in n configuration 3s1. So, see blow chlorine. See the chlorine electron configuration. 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 p 5 or simply we can write in n configuration 3 s 2 3 p 5 for simple c blow here chlorine plus 1 electron e is the electron see the this side negative side it means it can gain the one electron. So, this minus sign is denoted gain the electron. So, we can write like Cl is gaining the one electron. See below. So, Na plus Cl minus it gives sodium chloride NaCl. So, Na sodium can lose one electron, but at the same time chloris, chlorine is it gain one electron, sodium it can lose the one electron, at the same time chlorine can gain one electron. So, here sodium is losses one electron for chlorine. So, this both element combined together, <coughs> these types of bond called ionic bond. See, this is where electrocovalent bond involving the metal and the non-metal. See here, ionic bond means metals and non-metals involving the bond formation that is 
ionic bond or electrovalent bond. See, keep it in mind. Here, sodium is metal, chlorine is non-metal. See the periodic table, which is metal, which is non-metal like this. Next, bond formation between the cation. So, we can say cation means plus sign and anion means minus sign. So, we can say here Na plus and Cl minus, uh, Na plus is cation, Cl minus is anion. So, bond formation between the cation and the anion due to electrostatic force of attraction. So, we can see later what is the electrostatic force of the attraction on the upcoming videos. Most of the element attained heat electron rules, it is called Ackers rule. This is occurs naturally. Next, here sodium losses one electron. So, it is going to attain Mian configuration because sodium has only 10 electron. So, it is going to Mian configuration. Next, chlorine gain the one electron, so it is going to attain organ configuration. So, because it is gain the one electron, see below. Here, sodium loses one electron. So, it is going to stable state. At the same time, chlorine gain one electron from sodium. So, it is going to stable state. See the concept. So, Na plus sodium atom lost the one electron for chlorine. So, chlorine is going to the stable state here. At the same time, sodium as losses one electron. So, it is also going to stable state. It is going to neon configuration. See the inert gas element at the periodic table. It is going to the neon configuration chlorine is going to the organ configuration. So, it is the stable state. This is also stable state. Here both are stable state. Suppose, if not last one electron sodium or if not gain one electron chlorine, it is going to unstable state. At the same thing here, it is going on the sodium, if not last one, one electron, it is going to unstable state. So, every element involving the bond formation, this is naturally occurs. That is all. See, next topic, we will learn more about the chemical bonding on the molecular structure. Please forward your friends, convey the, this channel. We are making more videos for all chapters. Have a nice day. Thanking you.